Hello everyone, this video is intended for those of you who want to invoice in our vendor portal but do not know yet how to do it. First of all, open your web browser and go to URL and type in the URL for our web portal. So that's xtrf.hamillion.com backslash vendors. Uh, log in with your credentials that you have provided when registering. The username is always your email. So let's go to our test account. And the password is the one that you have provided, but if you don't remember it, don't worry, just click on I forgot my password button. So let's sign in. A few pointers that I would like to give you about your profile before starting to invoice. First of all, the uh, name in your profile, in your account, should be your legal name, the one that is in your passport, and not any nickname. Always make sure that you have filled in carefully and properly your bank details. Do not skip any field. Always provide to us your IBAN and BIG. If your account, uh, either that's a bank account or PayPal account, is under someone else's name, you will need to send to us an email to finance at haymillion.com authorizing us and requesting to pay the amount to the specific number, some, uh, to the specific account. Something very sp simple saying, dear finance team, please pay my invoices to this account who, that belongs to and the name of the person that the account belongs to. Now, um, another important thing is to make sure that you have included your VAT number or the tax identification number, depending on your type of registration with your tax office. And also, for all the freelancers that are in UK, please make sure that, depending on, the, on your registration with the HMRC, you indicate yourself either as a local individual or a local business. And for those uh, residing in any other country, mark yourself as a foreign individual or a foreign business. Again, make sure that your details are properly filled in. Now, before you start invoicing, you need to, of course, close your jobs. You need to deliver your jobs. So let's say we have here two open jobs and we are going to close them. We are going to deliver the files that need to be delivered. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the file that deliverable from here. And then I'm going to upload this deliverable. And it's uploaded now. And I need to click on I finished the job. When I click on I finished the job, first of all, my job is marked as completed. And then also the project manager receives a notification that I have delivered this job. So I'm going to go ahead and close the second job as well. Now, please note, if you have multiple deliverables in the same job, you can deliver them one by one as ready, and instead of clicking on I finished the job, please click on I completed part of the job. Again, this way the project manager will receive a notification that you have that uploaded something, but the task will not be closed for the other deliverables to be uploaded. Make sure that you have been uploading the, the correct files to the correct job. Again, I finished the job. Now pay attention that you also get sometimes useful tips. So here it says, for example, that if you would like to know how to more, make your work more efficient in the future, please click here and you can learn more. So it's always uh, useful to read a bit and get more knowledge. As I close my two jobs, I'm going to go back to the jobs profile. And let's say I want to, to invoice these last two jobs. We strongly recommend to include multiple jobs in the same invoice or invoice at the end of the month. This makes for us less paperwork and for both of us uh, less transaction fees when doing the payments. So what you need to do is you need to click next to the task, that, next to the job that you need to invoice at Add New Invoice. And then as this is created, you can add as many jobs to this invoice as you want. So I'm going to add one more job. You can see here the two job numbers have been added. 
And then I'm going to go to step two. The step two needs to have the invoice number. Uh, your invoice number is not the task number or the activity number or purchase order we have sent to you. This is your unique invoice number and it's consequential to your other invoices, um, which means that if you have invoiced a previous invoice to any client, either to Hey Million or to someone else, let's say number five, your next invoice should be number six. Uh, always choose the current date for your invoice. Do not backdate your invoice, since our accounting currently is registering all invoices in a weekly basis. So if you backdate something, there is a strong chance your invoice will not be registered for payment. And I select the payment method. The payment terms are marked automatically based on your uh, contract. And then the third step is optional, but this is for those of you who have also a state invoice book or a state invoice system in your countries. Uh, if you have this, please attach this. You can do so by selecting the file, state invoice, Again, add. The invoice is being added and now I'm ready for issuing my invoice. What I can do is I can also write additional notes for Hey Million. Again, an optional field, but if you have something to add to this specific invoice, a comment that you would like us to know about, please do so. And basically that's it. Your invoice is ready for issuing. You click on add invoice. And here it says invoice 6 added. You can also click on show invoice. When you click on show invoice, it shows the status that is unpaid and when the payment is due. And you are all set for your payment when it's due. Thank you.